Having a little trouble getting your bat speed recon to read? I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to get it dialed in in this video. If you're having trouble getting the recon to read, more than likely it has to do with the tip of the bat not passing in front of the recon at the proper height, which will be unique to every athlete based on their swing plane. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to troubleshoot that here momentarily, but before we do that, let's make sure the basic setup is complete and correct. First and foremost, make sure that the bat you're swinging does indeed have a reflective sticker on the tip. Then we want to make sure the bat speed recon is in the correct position. The recon should be 1 to 2 inches behind the tee and about 16 to 20 inches away from the tee. Lastly, you want to make sure that you've actually selected the amount of swings or put the recon in infinity mode. Once you do this, there will be two horizontal lines across the main screen indicating that the recon is ready to read. So once you have done all of this basic setup, if you start taking swings and the recon is not reading, it probably has to do with the tip of the bat not passing through both of the sensors or LED arrays right before contact. So to help us make sure that we get that tip of the bat passing through there, let's go over some basic anatomy of the recon itself. You'll see two vertical black slits on the face of the recon. These are the sensors, and you have to get the tip of the bat to pass through both sensors to get a reading. They sit six and a quarter inches apart and should be situated just before contact. So what's important to understand is that these sensors shoot out and it creates a dispersion angle that gives us our target area that we need to have the tip of the bat pass through. It does widen out a little bit as you move away from the unit, but it's pretty slight. And you still want to make sure that the T is within 16 to 20 inches away from the recon. We need the tip of the bat to pass through the red area right between the black lines for the six inches before contact. So what happens most often if people are having trouble getting readings is that we have a situation where you have different athletes that have different swing planes. They approach the ball differently as they're swinging and hitting the baseball off the tee. So right here you can see I have a little visual for you of a steeper swing, a flatter swing, and maybe that typical on-plane swing. If people are a little bit steeper, if they swing up at the ball more, then they're going to be missing under the sensors, underneath the readers. So you need to move the tee up. If they have a little bit of a flatter swing, like this visual right here in the middle, then they're typically going to be missing over the sensors or on top of the readers. So you want to move the tee down a little bit. So right here I have an example of two hitters with two different swing planes, but with the tee in the same position. Both of them have the tee in the low position, but the hitter on the left swings down a little more, and the hitter on the right swings up a little more. Therefore, this is the correct tee position for the hitter that swings down a little more, the hitter on the left, and the incorrect tee position for the hitter that swings up a little more, the hitter on the right. So now here are the same two hitters, but with the tee in the middle position. In this case, the hitter that swings down a little bit more ends up missing above the sensors, so the fix here would be to move the tee down. Then the hitter on the right swings up a little more, so he ends up missing below the sensors. The fix in this case would be to move the tee up. The key here is moving the tee, not the recon. Now in this last example right here, I have the tee in the high position. So for the hitter that swings down more, they're going to just miss even further above the sensors. Again, the fix here would be to move the tee down. For the hitter that swings up more, now his tip is passing through the sensors and he's getting a reading. A great little cue is to think if the hitter swings down, move the tee down. If the hitter swings up, move the tee up. The fact of the matter is, is that you're going to have a lot of different athletes with different swing planes, different swing types. What you want to understand is that the easiest way to get the recon to start reading all of these different athlete swings is to work to adjust the T height, move the T up and down, rather than trying to move the recon all over the place. That is to say, of course, after we've actually put it in the initial proper spot. So remember, you wanna have the recon about one to two inches behind the T and about 16 to 20 inches away from the T. Now, once you've done that, what you wanna do is kinda of look from this view. It's very helpful to look from behind and you're trying to look at the blur of the swing and try to check and see if the tip of that bat is indeed passing right through this little dispersion angle. So in this case, we have an athlete that's swinging up 
more. He's more inside out. What that means, the tip of the bat is going underneath the LED reader more than like, what I have laid out for you guys right here is three different T positions. A low T position, a middle T position, and a high T position. And you're gonna notice as he goes through these reps right here, the tip of the bat on the low T and the middle T position does not pass through that dispersion angle. However, on that high T position, it passes right in front of that LED reader. Therefore, you're gonna get an accurate reading of your bat speed. Once you have the recon in the initial correct position, don't worry about moving around the recon if you're not getting readings. Look from behind, from this angle, and try to see the blur of the bat. If it looks as though the hitter is swinging up, move the T up. The hitter is swinging up, move the T up. Now the other end of this spectrum is when you have an athlete that seems to swing down more exaggerated. If they're swinging down or cutting across, then what you're gonna to wanna to think is move the T down. So again, here's our T adjustment. Hitter swings down, move the T down. Again, I have this visual right here where you can see these three different T positions. And in the case where the hitter swings down more, when you're standing from behind and looking at the blur of this bat, you don't want the middle T or the high T position, you'd rather have the T in the low T position if the hitter has a flatter swing plane or swings down more. You can see that on the middle T and the high T position, the tip of the bat passes above the dispersion angle. But in the low T position, when a hitter swings down, it passes right through that dispersion angle. It can take a little while to develop an eye, to really be able to see the shape of the swing plane and exactly where the bat is passing by the front of the recon. So be patient with it, and to an extent, you can just experiment, constantly moving that T up and down until you get it to read. It can take a little bit of trial and error, but once you develop an eye for it, you'll get it set up quick. I hope that helps, guys, and really just try to embrace the idea that if you're swinging up, you want to move the T up. If you're swinging down, you want to move the T down. That should help as a general rule of thumb to get you dialed in and get that bat speed recon reading every swing so you can maximize your potential and increase that bat speed big time.